Okay, so guys, if you have just finished writing your first full length comic, there is a very good chance you have made a massive mistake. Now, before you give me a thumbs down, leave the video and shout, Matt, you've got no idea what you're talking about. This is a mistake that we all make when we first start writing, and it's a mistake I've made myself. But if you can indulge me for a couple of minutes and watch the entire video, if you have made this mistake, this video will literally save you thousands of pounds before you go to the art stage of your comic. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay, so when we first finish our first full length comic, regardless, you know, if it's 20 pages, 24 pages, 30 pages, 100 pages, you know, whatever you want your first comic to be, we think we've written the best comic book script ever and we get all excited and we want to send it off to our artist collaborator, bring that to life and, you know, so we just so we can show it to the world. Unfortunately, what I'm noticing more and more, and this is because you guys have been absolutely fantastic and, you know, you keep reaching out to me, asking me to look at your comics, read your scripts, that kind of thing. And as long as I've got the time to do that, I will always happily help other people. Hence the reason that I'm doing this channel, because I want to help as many people as possible. But what I'm finding is people are either rushing their scripts or they're dragging in their scripts when they come to their plotting so what do i mean by this so on the screen at the moment is um, a comic i'm reading at the moment called the good agent which is absolutely fantastic if you've not read it go pick it up so what i did was is i broke down the plot of the first issue and i put it into scenes so and then based on the scenes i then broke it down into pages to work out how many pages were within each scene of that comic so if you look at the screen at the moment you can see that Scene one was actually only one page because that was more like an introduction, overview kind of a, a page. And then scene two was five pages. Scene three was six pages. Scene four was two pages. Scene five was five pages. Scene six was four pages. And scene seven was actually seven pages long. So this particular comic had seven individual scenes in that first issue. So based on that, you can see the actual comic flows at a nice, even pace. You know, the writer is not rushing or they are not dragging the story, which is, you know, the thumbnail of this particular video. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that in a second so stick with me but I apply this logic to a couple of other comics I'm reading at the moment and I know I'm incredibly late to the party but I've just started reading Black Hammer by Jeff Lemire so if you've never read Black Hammer I would totally recommend it go check it out it's a great story and I've hooked on it from the very get-go but I applied the same logic to that as I did with the good Asian and I broke down the scenes so as you can see scene one has five pages scene two has four pages scene three has four pages scene four has two pages scene five has five pages again scene six has three pages and scene seven has four pages so based on that logic and a couple of other comics that I applied this to it seemed that most first issues of a comic would have between five and eight scenes within them. And then each of those scenes have between three and five pages on average with regards to how many pages were for each scene. However, I've been reading a lot of scripts from you guys lately because, you, you know, you guys trust me and I appreciate that. You know, you reach out and ask me to check out your comics and your scripts, that kind of thing. But what I found is a lot of you are rushing and dragging within the plots of your actual comics. So what I mean by this, instead of, you know, four page scene, five page scene, six page scene, I'm seeing a lot of one pages, one and a half pages, two pages, then six pages, then two pages, then seven pages, then two pages. And what this does is this interrupts the flow of the comic. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have a one page scene or a two page scene. These are great bridging scenes within your comic. But if your comic is one, one and a half, seven, two, six, two, two, the beats of the story are not hitting where they need to be and you are not letting the story develop in the way that it should. So the point of this video and what I'm suggesting is after you finish writing the first draft of your comic and before you send it to your artist collaborator, what I'd like you to do is take out an A4 sheet of paper, work out how many scenes you've got within that first issue, and then break down how many pages are within that first issue. Now, if your scenes are going one, two, two, one, seven, two, one, one and a half, eight. It shows you that your plot is not progressing at a proper rate. So you may need to go back and rewrite that script and make make the scenes breathe a little bit more, give them a little bit more room. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with, you know, one and two page scenes. These are great for, you know, bridging scenes between one scene and another scene. But if your comic is looking more like the one on the screen at the moment compared to, the good Asian one or, you know, the Black Hammer one, you may have some problems. Now, if you can catch this before it goes to the artist, it's going to potentially save you a lot of money. So hopefully that helps. If this has given you value, give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. I will see you in the next one. And remember, if I can make comics, anyone can. Take care.